Hello guys, today we are going to show you how to import data from multiple Excel files stored in a folder and how to how to quickly transform it and create this uh, nice Power BI report where we can compare targets with actuals so as you can see here in the file we have uh, we have indicator data then we have uh, uh, measurement unit then we have data for actuals and the target so this is for january then all the way down to the december so we will create we uh, we have we have uh, data for multiple locations so each file represents a specific location and then we can see here in the report then we can compare actuals and targets by month and by the file name which is in our case is the city so where this uh, this uh, imaginary company has locations so let's go and uh, open power bi desktop we will load data from folder and we will create some very interesting power query steps on the way because the data needs to be transformed so i have the the path of the folder where the files are located we click combine and transform and then we select one of the files to be as a sample file in our transformation steps so let's say that first one and now the power query opens and as, as uh, we can see we have a we have a main combined query with all cities and we have a, a sample file which we need to work on this a little bit uh, more so what we will do first we will add this uh, add this uh, indicator category as a separate column so operations scm cl safety and environment human resources all these are categories of the indicators below them so we will use the second column to 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 extract this one how we do that we go to add the conditional column and we say let's name this uh, indicator category and say if column 2 is null then bring first column otherwise leave it null okay let's move it to the beginning and see what we have here so we have main indicator or category of the indicator then we have null values so now we use fill down option like this so each category has their own indicators then this one this one and so on now we don't need uh, any more of these uh, these uh, null values and uh, and remember these null values when we remove them now they will remove also this this indicator category which now shouldn't belong here in the indicator name or indicator code but we have it now as a separate column so we uncheck null and we have now so this is the code let's cut this this is the name okay now we go and remove these empty columns Uh, some of the columns were merged in the Excel, that's why we have these no these uh, empty columns. 
okay we select uh, one by one by holding control key down and we have them all removed now okay so now we have uh, we have data in good uh, shape we will remove these two also because for our tutorial we will use data only from January up to December so for each month we have two columns January and uh, so target and the uh, actual value what we will do now we will convert now these multiple columns into a single column so into so for uh, we will have we need to have only one actual column and only one target column not multiple like this how we do that we select the first uh, four four uh, columns and then we unpick with other columns and now we have as you see target then actual target then actual we need to extract a month from this column how we do that we go to the transform and choose split by delimiter we don't uh, touch anything here this will this will split the column by the by the return value which is in the in the column so now we have month and we have target or actual okay so now we have to do another step here we will convert these two values these two values into separate columns so for each target we have one value and for each actual we have another value how we do that we go to pivot column and choose values from the this last value column okay and now we have target and we have actual here okay now this uh, uh, sample file is ready we have an error here in measure filtering why is this error because this automatic change type step doesn't have these many columns that were initial initially in the in the sample file so because we did the additional steps there then this step need to be removed here and now we can select them all and click to add back that step but now it changes the format of only existing columns that were in the previous step not the columns that were initially loaded okay so now we can load this and we can start creating the visuals that we saw in our power bi report so we have two card visuals one slicer and we have two charts so let's first create these two cards so we have actual here and we have target so we don't uh, need to create any measure here because the measure is automatically created so for our uh, for our sample here we will not dig into why is why we leave it like this or why it's better to create measures so this calculates the sum of the everything that is in the target column but of course this alone does not make too much sense because as because as we can see here we have different me measurement units so it's not uh, it's not okay to add uh, head count head head count with percentage values or dollars in uh, in uh, thousands with uh, 
some numerical values which do, which which do not uh, do not uh, add uh, together but we will leave it like this now and this will make sense only when we apply slicer in the filter in the in the indicator name column okay we will do that shortly let's make these labels smaller 25 for example and now we choose the slicer and put indicator category and indicator name in the hierarchy form like this let's make the slicer single select and now we if we click one of the one of the indicators in the slicer then we will have correct values but these values are now uh, added for all the months in the year so like this now we go and add the line chart that will have months in the axis and it will have actuals and targets in the values again let's add shadow and let's add uh, markers like this what we have here we have default sort order by value in the descending descending order if we we need to filter this by month so we have january february and so on but as you can see this is filtered alphabetically now and we need to fix this uh, fix this month column we need to go back to power query and we will convert this this month to the to the date value we will do that by adding adding a prefix let's say first this is the first day of the month and then we will add suffix which is the year which was 2020 so now we are able to convert this to date okay now when we go back to the to the power bi here we have the month column in the correct order we can remove we can remove year and quarter and day and we have only months like we want it to to be and like it's it's it is needed to be so month months should be in the in the correct order now we copy paste this and we create the clustered column and line chart and we put the target into the values so actual action okay we are good and to make this a bit uh, easier easier to understand let's make the background of this of this uh, card visual to blue and the text of the value and the category to white and then let's make this color like the one of the lines like this of course we can use different colors but the color should be consistent in all the charts so actual is light blue here light blue here and light blue here okay we messed up here so we need to switch back so let's go make this light blue and make this dark blue 
so background like this okay so now we can we can do quickly see okay we forgot to change the axis here to the source name which actually is the is the city name we can go and clean a bit more of this column so we can extract the extract text be, text before delimiter which is dot Okay. Okay. So now the the columns, the cities are properly properly presented. We can sort if we want to by name alphabetically, and now we can see all the all the indicators both by months and by cities okay, let's make this axis smaller so we can see in the horizontal way so I hope you like this it was it was not so hard to do but for the begin for the beginners this might be tricky especially the the power query steps that we did in the power query editor okay so if you like this video please uh, be sure to su subscribe to our channel as we will make more of these we will continue to work in this file in our next videos and uh, see something very interesting about how to put to put these these values as measures in the slicer not as the as it is as the column now but as the measure which is very very interesting sample so thank you again and uh, see you soon bye bye